Robotic assisted surgery that's helping some women get pregnant. The surgery removes uterine fibroids in a less invasive way. If left untreated, these fibroids could cause fertility issues. ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas introduces us to a local woman who underwent the surgery and benefited from it. Fibroids are the most common benign tumor in a woman's reproductive tract. It's so common that one in 10 white women will get them, but that number jumps to one in four for black women. And inside Kaiser Permanente, the removal surgery is not your typical myomectomy. I got my fibroids removed eight weeks ago, March 27, 2023. Tamika Lopez underwent a robotic myomectomy to remove the fibroids she found about 10 years ago when she had a miscarriage. They started off really, really small and 10 years later, when I discovered I was having problems with them, they were the size of small grapefruits, large oranges. Tamika had 18 fibroids causing her pain. Symptoms include heavy bleeding, hemorrhaging, pelvic pain, and urinary urgency. So we have these melons here, and this is how big some fibroids can grow inside of people. Yes, absolutely. Um, they can grow to be twice this size, actually. Um, and we're still able to remove these with small incisions and send people home the same day. The most number I've ever taken out is actually 44. Dr. Meredith McMullen participated in a fellowship that led her to being one of a few doctors at Kaiser Permanente that performed the less invasive surgery. She says it feels amazing to be behind the controls that give her four arms instead of two and 10 times the magnification than a regular surgery. Decades ago, a lot of women presented with these symptoms and were found to have these very large tumors and they were told, your only option is a hysterectomy. Um, and so these women weren't given the opportunity to have a minimally invasive surgery, let alone keep their fertility. Myomectomies allow women to still have kids, but the robotic surgery offers women a faster recovery time. It only took Tamika three weeks to get back to work and be fully functional. I feel amazing. My energy levels have come back. I don't suffer the extreme pelvic pressure and pain. I'm able to actually sleep the entire night. Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News. And fibroids are hereditary in many cases. Women who think they have them can ask their OBGYN for an ultrasound.